Now that's a stump. So sometimes I do work uh, in the evening and night at uh, just I can't record. Last night I went and got a tree. And uh, that was what was there. There was lots of other goodies that I gathered up from the same site. There's toolboxes with tools in it. A couple of pallets, and, you know, an old, I don't know, birdcage. Just little odds and ends. Nothing fancy in there, but <clears throat> a whole bunch of adhesive in there. Construction adhesive. Good stuff. It's early morning. It's an early morning bath bathrobe kind of a day. So I'm, I'm going to get that stump out of there. My tractor is at the construction site. That's how I loaded that up. But I couldn't load up a tractor and that. Uh, that would have been way over 10,000 pounds. So I'm going to get uh, pull up underneath a tree and ratchet strap that out today. Rotate. Look at that. Now that's, that's a tree. That's a tree. I got it out last night by chaining it to the to the tree and pulling it. Boys, got your breakfast? You're happy? See if I can pet Blaze while he's doing something else. He's just not into people. Oh, look, he's slowly warming up. Your stock's rising, Blaze. It's rising. He would have uh, he would have walked off. A week and week and a half ago, he is slow to win over. I'll tell you. Yeah, he had the other day. He, uh, I lost my patience with him. I'm like, well, you don't have to be such a jerk for so long. Told him, go on, get out of here. <laughs> then I, he got me blocked. My he, uh, Polish protested my truck as I was leaving the other day. I had to get out. I said, I don't know who you think runs this herd, but it's me. I ran him out of there, cursed him good. So, silly thing. Horses are funny. They do respect you as the owner of a herd. They don't expect respect being mean. So, I didn't hit him or anything, but I, I had lost my patience twice with him. He lets me pet him. So, look, I got a whole thing of tin at the same time because uh, now I can build a tin shed over my lumber yard and another little tree that was in there i did the same thing i ratchet strapped it to a tree and just drove it off so a lot goes on out of line of sight i'll keep walking around bathroom walk around bathrobe walk around here here you go looky there i stacked up all of my all of my uh there's 200 there tile and they're face to face end to end except that one which i flipped over so i could tell and uh there see how they're pink and then there's some mustard those are clean ready to be stacked as well they'll be 225 and then i have a pile over here that's uh not done yet <clears throat> you can see if i pick them up the ones on the top i washed of course but that's the state that they came in and uh you know that is the state of them being clean. Oh, what a big change! Once I get them in the, uh, once I get them in the shipping container, I'll go ahead and seal them, and they'll look really good, really good. So, uh, and then, uh, God willing, if I have time, I'll go back and get my tractor and stuff from the other construction site. This is the next major project. I'm working on the door in there, but once I'm done with the door getting piers underneath everything and i'm going to use the 50 uh 30 gallon drums for the piers and i do have them they've got car wash soap in them right now so i'm using them to wash the stones and then i'll turn around and uh, use them for that but man i am tired let me tell you logging is uh, uh it's tough and i got a lot of logs to get those big ones like that i'm not going to cut those into boards i'm going to leave them big uh, and then they'll be used for uh, building the inside of this. Right where my truck is, it will be the great hall. And about where the nose is, there'll be stairs up to the top. Then there'll be a rooftop patio. This will all be in Santa Fe Mission style, which is your Adobe style, your Pueblo people style. But the logs will be about every four foot. And they'll support a reciprocal ceiling with two massive skylights in there. 
And then the reciprocal ceiling will be made of uh, thir about 13 logs that'll come in and spiral around, you know, and go out. And then uh, cedar in between all of those. And then lava stone on top of the cedar and then concrete on top of that. So uh, that roof will be, even though this will be a pitched roof, uh, it'll be real secure. The solar will go on the pitched roof pointing towards the, and you can't see it today, uh, gray skies. The weatherman did say it would rain this end of this week, and I'm counting on it so that I can, uh, the road will get soft enough for me to work on it. For those of you in Australia and other parts of the world, y'all will understand it rains, and three days later, the soil's back to concrete. And uh, that's what I'm up against on that road. I, I got to work it when it rains. And I uh, got to work it when it rains, and I could still be on it. Because if I work it and it's too wet, my tractor sinks and I get stuck. I got a video here recently of me getting stuck during a rainstorm. I'll, I'll put it up. I'll put it together and put it up. Anyway, that's my little walk around, morning walk around. I fed the horses and I thought, well, I did I did four hours of work last night in the dark. And you want a dangerous set of work, you just log something this big. The massive stump. I mean, there's my, there's my truck and there's that stump. Well, that's a mass, a lot of massive, uh, it really was a big project, big project. So I'm sore. I think, I think I will, uh, take it a little easier today other than getting that out. And, uh, I'll do it by ratchet strapping that to a tree and click, 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 click and get it up just an inch and then drive out. And then I'll put some, I don't know, pellet on some blocks underneath it until I could get my tractor back. But I need the trailer to get the tractor and I can't pull a stump and the tractor be too heavy so all right thank you for watching a uh, guy in a bathrobe do a walkabout i've done several bathrobes this bathrobe so comfy cozy i like this bathrobe it's my favorite bathrobe it's pretty cold out here it's probably 58 or something it's justified i'm in flip-flops too hey at a certain point in life you reach a certain age you just don't care anymore yeah you do you, and that's what I'm doing. Enjoying these horses. Even though Blaze and I had words yesterday, I forgive him. Old Hank, though. Old Hank's the sweetie of the group. He, I could, I could, I don't know, carry him around in my lap if I wanted to. But Mr. Blaze here, I still don't trust them back hooves. They're full of anger. The front part of the horse is slowly getting peace, but the back part, mm, full of anger. Looky there, he's letting me pet him again. Well, oh, and his ears are up. Oh, I'm winning the, I'm winning the charm prize. I won't push it. All right, patience. Oh my gosh, patience. It's uh, not something I'm really well known for, but I think I have lots of patience. The problem is, is people aren't motivated until you are impatient same with the horse i had to yell at him put the pecking order back in order all right like subscribe follow me along bye